So let's bring in one of the lawmakers who questioned the Secret Service director, Florida Republican Michael Waltz, a former Green Bay, Green, Green, I'm sorry, Green Beret commander. Um, Congressman Waltz, always good to see you. Thank you so much uh, for, for joining us today. I, I guess I, I'm tongue tied because I'm just in complete disbelief. I mean, when I think about the fact that the next day she didn't head over there to that site and right. get up on the roof and take a look and, and, and have a briefing from all the people who were there about exactly what happened is so astonishing to me. And then you see members of Congress up on the roof, you know, taking a look around. And she hasn't even done that, Congressman. Yeah, yeah I, I'm uh, almost as speechless, Martha. In, in all my time in Congress now, I've never seen a witness this bad. I've never seen an agency head this feckless and weak in terms of their of their personal leadership. Leaders lead. They walk the ground. They talk to the troops. They go to the scene of what she herself admits is the worst failure by the Secret Service since Reagan was shot. But she didn't even know that Reagan's Secret Service had resigned. And then mm -hmm. I reminded her that uh, another one of her predecessors, Julia Pearson, resigned when the White House grounds were breached. No one was even hurt in that instance. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> what is her standard for her own personal accountability? But it's par for the course with this administration, whether it was a withdrawal from Afghanistan, a secretary of defense who disappeared. Everybody kind of bellows hot air of taking responsibility. Mm. We never see any accountability. This committee's sick of it. The American people are sick of it. And we are this close to having a dead president because of it. That's right. Um, let's give people a sense of what it was like in there on Capitol Hill today. Let's watch. I'm not going to get into specifics of that day. Again, I don't want to speak to specifics of the event. Again, I cannot speak to specific incidents. Again, I don't know the specifics. I don't have the details on the timeline. I'm unable to answer details of exactly how the individual accessed the roof. At this time, I'm unable to answer questions. I can, I can speak to you in generalities. No, no, I don't want I generalities. Don't Unbelievable. I mean, she didn't even come in there with just some basic facts. I mean, you know, it would have gotten her a long way, I think, if she had. And, and B, it's a, un, unexplainable why she wouldn't resign when the only job she has is to protect the president and former president uh, and their family members. But I want to ask you about this 20 year old um, Thomas Crooks. And when the one thing she did sort of get specific about was that there was no foreign connection involved. Uh, she shot down the conspiracy theories, which, you know, are, are floating around out there. But how does she know the answer to all those things, but she doesn't know right. the answers to what happened on the roof. Well, we know the Iranians have active plots against President Trump and members of his cabinet. We know they've smuggled operatives across our southern border to recruit assassins. The FBI let the public uh, know about that uh, through Venezuela, no doubt. We know he had multiple overseas encrypted platforms the FBI is trying to get into that he reconned with a drone and personally he was a heck of a good shot. Uh, and he had explosives in his car. He was prepared to detonate. That doesn't sound like a healthcare uh, worker, high school kid to me. Yet she was prepared to say that wasn't part of it. It just makes no sense. Yeah, I, I found it stunning uh, that she was able to shut those conspiracy theories down. Um, this early in the investigation, I, I think, is, is quite interesting. Um, so you don't think that this administration is going to fire her right now when they've got all this other stuff going on? They're trying to figure out who the president's uh, nomination is going to be, right? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, clearly the, this administ entire administration is leaderless and upside down. But look, this committee oversight with everybody from Marjorie Taylor Greene to the squad on it, we can't agree what color the sky is, but we agree today she's got to go. So I think you're going to see overwhelming calls from Congress. If we've got to defund her salary, defund her travel, uh, you know, I don't, whatever we have to do, she has to go. We're literally not safe when the FBI director and the American people can see we are awash with threats right now. Yeah, and the American people have to know that the Secret Service is um, is functioning at the highest possible level. Uh, it's just a very basic uh, part of that job. Um, Michael Waltz, Congressman, always good to see you. Former Green Beret, thank you very much, sir.